I purchased this monitor to you. I'm sorry, I should say. I purchased this, <clears throat> excuse me, TV to use as a monitor. It's a 22 inch insignia TV. It works well. I've been using it probably for the last week. I put it on my 17 inch laptop and I do work on my 17 inch laptop, but sometimes I need a bigger screen so I can get a, a better view as to what I'm doing or just having a second screen. Now, it's amazing. These 22 inch, I mean, I could pick this up with one hand. It's so light. I mean, maybe two, three pounds. I don't even know. Maybe less than that. Very, very light TV. I keep calling it monitor. I'm sorry. TV. Now, the reason I bought it is because it was a used TV on sale at Best Buy for about $80. And I thought that was a good price to have a TV slash monitor. You can use them for both. But one of the problems I found so far is that anything, uh, this is my own, look, I'm no expert. Uh, I'm no super duper user or, or what have you. I'm just a regular guy. And I like to sometimes use items for two purposes. So I'll buy a TV as a monitor and um, just so that I can get, you know, two uses out of it. So I can pick up over the air TV. But what I found with buying t mon TVs for monitors is that, first of all, don't ever, this is my own personal opinion, you can follow it or not, it's up to you, it's just my own personal opinion. When you get a TV, don't get anything lower than a 1080p resolution. I've noticed any 720 and below, forget it. It just looks awful. The fonts are all broken, so you could even run the clear type on a computer clear type is when uh, Windows tries to correct the font looking jagged where you'll have black and and then white, black, white, and it looks kind of weird and it makes your eyes, you know, makes it look weird to your eyes. So anything, uh, anything uh, below 1080, no good. So 1080 is the sweet spot when it comes to using a TV as a monitor for me. Then, it looks like, and I've been through many, 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 many different sizes from 17-inch TVs to, to 22 or what, or what have you. It looks like when you do buy a TV to use as a monitor, the sweet spot is 32-inch to 32-inch 1080p and above. When you get anything below those two qualifications, when you get a 22-inch even at 1080p, it just still doesn't look good. One of the problems I have is the uh, setting up the display. The display cuts off certain, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch from the top or from the side. I've purchased many resolution programs, uh, Display Fusion and other programs like that, that let you get in deep and, and make, you know, uh, get in there and make, uh, minor adjustments you get in there you get all the resolutions you want that windows doesn't offer and you get to test them and try them out and it works well but you still for whatever reason anything below 32 inch you just can't get that full screen so i'm always off by a little bit and that just drives me nuts i want the whole tv as a uh, monitor and i don't want to even lose a quarter of an inch i want the whole screen so i'm sending them back and I, what happened was I ended up finding, which I'll be doing a video on, a few used monitors on Best Buy and and B and H for about eighty dollars for the same price. And when you get monitors, it looks like when you get monitors, it just besides the tuner, and you can't get over the air TV unless you buy an external tuner. They just um, uh, monitors, no matter what size they are. They always look good. You could put anything on them. They're usually pretty good, especially 1080p's and above. I would just get an HDMI connection. Those are the monitors I would get. The monitor would have to at least have HDMI, which will be a pretty good chance that it has 1080p and above. So this is just going to be a look at, and I just, just letting you know how I feel about using a TV as a monitor. And uh, this is a look at this TV. It works really well. Uh, I'm I have no complaints except that I couldn't use it for what I wanted it to 
Uh, this is the remote. Glows in the dark. My my daughter loved that. So you can see where it is. It takes AAA batteries. Very simple remote. There's pictures at the end with details of the remote. And this is the actual item. And let me take a measurement of the cord so you know how long the cord is. It's about a little over five feet. Just a little over five feet. Has a built-in cord organizer slash holder wire tie, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm returning it. And I'll just show you a quick look at At the end, I took a lot of pictures, so you get a lot of details of the uh, item if you wait towards the end. Um, I'll be showing some of the uh, literature that comes with the TV. So this is the front. The control area is down here. On and off. These are the built-in speakers. That's another thing I like about buying TVs as as monitors that it has all of them come with built-in speakers. That's the stand. I really really like that. Model number and serial number. You can mount this on a wall or a tripod or a monitor mount or whatever have you. And when I say tripod, it's because I have some uh, monitor tripod tripod stands. And it's twenty inches wide. by one foot in height with the stand it's uh just about 13 inches let me just make sure uh i'm gonna say right at the tip 13 and a half inches like i said it's a nice tv i mean we've come a long way i remember Needing three people to carry my 25-inch TV to the car and upstairs to my apartment. So we've definitely come a really, really long way. But, um, like I said, this is not for what I want it for. And I wish it would have worked. But it didn't. So I ended up... Oh, I want, another thing too is... Nowadays, the TVs, I, I don't know what it is... It may, the new designs, the TVs come with the stands on the side instead of the middle. I like the middle stand because it gives you much more options. You need less space to put the TV on or the monitor on. That's another reason why I like monitors over TVs a little bit more. Is that anything, it looks like anything below, if I remember correctly, anything below 32 inches when it comes to a TV... They come with the anything 32 inches and above, they come with the stand in the middle. Anything with anything below that comes with a stand on the left and on the right instead of in the middle. So, again, yeah, if I remember correct, yes, my 32 inch, I'm thinking about it. Yes, it comes with the stand in the middle, uh, and any TVs below that starts to come with the stands on the sides i i don't like the stands on the side because no i take that back there's a uh, 43 inch i have to have the stands on the side so i guess it's a tv design i don't know i don't like it i like the stand in the middle because there's more options for you to where you can place it when you have it on the side you need that size when you have it in the middle you could just need the middle 
I mean, a lot of times when I get a, I put a monitor or a TV in a certain location that's small, one of the things I do is I put Velcro underneath it to stick it to the bottom so that way it doesn't fall over because that's one of the things with the middle stand is that it's easy to tip over. But with uh, I put Velcro underneath and that ends that. But on this, when you have stands on the sides, you're stuck with that size. I don't like that. All right, so again, the TV works well. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a 1080p. It was a great price. It was $80. $80. It was, you know, low priced and it was going to be a great monitor. It would have been a perfect TV, but I don't need a TV. I need a monitor. But they had a used monitor for $80 and I, I ended up purchasing that. I'm going to return this. All right. So I really hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Insignia Ascent 22 Class LED 1080p HD TV Model NS22 D510 NA19 SKU626093 Cost, $83.73 Purchased on Best Buy Website Description Enjoy increased clarity when watching your favorite shows on this 22-inch Insignia TV. The LED screen boosts color accuracy while providing a crisp HD viewing experience, and the 60 Hz refresh rate maintains consistent frames to keep you immersed in scenes. This Insignia TV has two HDMI slots and a USB port for gaming consoles, DVD players, and streaming devices. TV Buying Guide TV, see Top TV Deals features 21.5 screen, measured diagonally from corner to corner, good size for a bedroom or dorm room. 1080p resolution for stunning HD images watch Blu-ray movies and 1080p HD content at the high level of detail. LED TVs perform well in all lighting conditions they also deliver plasma-like deep blacks and rich colors. DT Sound 22.5W speakers deliver clear, crisp, and natural sound while providing deep enveloping bass. Two HDMI inputs for better home theater connection high-speed HDMI delivers a full 1080p picture and digital surround sound in one convenient cable. The HDMI cable is not included. Enjoy the picture from multiple angles 178 degree horizontal and vertical viewing angles provide a clear picture for viewers seated near the side of the screen. One USB input easily connect your digital camera, camcorder, or other USB device. Manage the viewing experience for your kids. The built-in V-chip lets you block content based on program ratings and check ratings of unfamiliar programs. What's included Insignia Ascent 22 Class LED 1080p HD TV Owner's Manual Remote Control Stand 2 AAA Batteries Key Specs Display Type LED Resolution Info Full HD 1080p, screen size info 21.5 inches high dynamic range, HDR, info no backlight type info direct refresh rate info 60 Hz number of HDMI inputs voice assistant built in info no general product name 22 class LED 1080p HD TV brand insignia ascent model number NS22 D510 NA19 series info HD TV color black color category black dimension height 12 inches H width 20 inches 20 W Insignia Ascent 22 Class LED 1080p HD TV Front Zoom Screen Size 21.5 inches Screen Size 21.5 inches Height with Stand 13.7 inches H Product Height with Stand 13.7 inches Product Width Info 20 inches Product Depth with Stand 7.1 inches Product Height without Stand 12 inches Product Depth without Stand 2.6 inches Product Weight with Stand 5.1 pounds Product Weight without Stand 4.9 pounds Box Dimension Height 14.8 inches Width 22.8 inches Depth 4.6 inches Display Display Type LED Resolution Info Full HD 1080p, screen size info 21.5 inches screen size class info 22 inches high dynamic range, HDR, 
Info no backlight type info direct curved screen no refresh rate info 60 Hz motion enhancement technology info non maximum contrast ratio native info closed captioning info yes language s displayed info english french spanish 3d technology info no feature remote control type standard smart capable info no text to speech info yes v chip info yes tv tuner info digital connectivity number of HDMI inputs number of USB port, S, total, info number of USB 2.0 ports number of digital optical audio outputs number of analog audio outputs number of component video inputs info number of composite video inputs info number of DVI inputs info RF antenna input info yes headphone jack yes compatibility VESA wall mount standard info 100 mm x 100 mm voice assistant built in info no audio surround sound supported info DT sound built in speakers Yes speaker output 5 watts power energy star certified info. No repeat qualified info no estimated annual operating cost info 5 United States dollars estimated annual electricity use info 41 kilowatt hours rechargeable battery, remote control, no battery size, remote control, info AAA included stand included yes cable, S included HDMI warranty manufacturers warranty parts one year manufacturers warranty labor one year other UPC insignia LED TV introduction congratulations on your purchase of a high quality insignia TV your TV represents the state of the art in LED TV technology and is designed for reliable and trouble free performance IN Link enjoy the benefit of having HDMI CEC compatible products plug and play. No setup is needed. CEC technology lets different devices discover and communicate with each other. See page 21 for instructions on how to use IN Link. Game mode video games generally require adjustments to the TV picture settings to get the maximum experience. By simply pressing the game button on your remote control, your TV settings automatically adjust for video games. It couldn't be easier. Audio accessibility Your TV provides audio descriptions of menus and some remote control functions. Depending on the broadcaster, audio narration of key elements in programs may also be available. See page 30 for instructions on how to turn on audio narration. TV components The section covers basic information for A Eurocent TV front A Eurocent jacks A Eurocent remote control TV front You can find these items on the front of your TV. Item description Remote control sensor receives signals from the remote control. Do not block. Power indicator turns off when your TV is on. Lights red when your TV is off. Standby mode. Insignia LED TV www.insigniaproducts.com jacks your TV may have any of the following items item description function power slash input button power press to turn on your TV when your TV is off in standby mode press and hold to turn off your TV when your TV is on warning when your TV is off power still flows through it to completely disconnect power Unplug the power cord. Input when your TV is turned on, short press to open the function list. Short press this button to move between functions and highlight the function you want, then press and hold this button to select the function. You can select, a Eurocent exit to close the function list. A Eurocent input source to open the input source list and select a video input source. A Eurocent channel list to open the channel list and select a channel. A Eurocent vol and to increase the volume. A Eurocent vola euro to decrease the volume. Digital optical output jack connect a sound bar, digital speaker system, or home theater system to this jack to listen to TV audio through external speakers. See digital audio on page 13. Digital coaxial output jack headphone jack or audio out jack on some TVs the headphone jack and audio out jack are combined into one jack. Connect headphones, 
a sound bar, analog speaker system, or a home theater system to this jack to listen to TV audio through external speakers. See analog audio on page 14. Antenna slash cable in jack connect an antenna or cable TV to this jack. See coaxial, good, on page 9 or connecting an antenna or cable TV, no box, on page 9. Analog video and audio, AV, jacks connect the video and audio for an AV device to these jacks. See AV, good, on page 8, 10, or 11. USB connect a USB flash drive to this jack to view compatible JPEG picture files. See connecting a USB flash drive on page 12 and using a USB flash drive on page 22. HDMI connect an HDMI device to this jack. See HDMI, best, on page 8, 10, or 11, or connecting a computer on page 12. HDMI slash ARC connect an ARC enabled home theater receiver to this jack. Or connect an HDMI device to this jack. See HDMI, best, on page 8, 10, or 11, or connecting a computer on page 12. Insignia LED TV www.insigniaproducts.com Reset press to reset your TV to the factory defaults. If this button is in a recessed hole, use a thin item, like a paper clip, to press the button. Service do not connect a device to this jack. Do not insert anything into this jack. Cautions, a Eurocent check the jacks for position and type before making any connections. A Eurocent loose connections can cause poor audio or video quality. Make sure that all connections are tight and secure. A Eurocent the external audio video equipment shown may be different from your equipment. If you have questions, refer to the documentation that came with your equipment. A Eurocent always unplug the power cord when connecting external equipment. Item description function Insignia LED TV www.insigniaproducts.com Remote control hashtag button press to 1. Power Turn your TV on or off, standby mode. Warning, when your TV is off, power still flows through it. To disconnect power, unplug the power cord. Two numbers enter channel numbers and the parental control password. Three enter a digital sub channel number. See selecting a channel on page 20. Four menu open the on screen menu. 5. Enter confirm selections or changes in TV menus. 6. Exit close the on-screen TV menu. 7. ACC open the accessibility menu. See adjusting accessibility settings on page 30. 8. Vol plus slash Vola Euro TV, adjusts the volume. TV menu, navigate left or right. USB, control a photo slideshow. 9. Aspect TV, change how the pictures appears on the screen. USB, zoom when displaying a photo. 10. Sleep set the sleep timer. You can select off, 5, 10, 15, 30, 60, 90, 120, 180, or 240 minutes. 11. Media controls control IN link compatible. HDMI CEC, devices. See using IN link on page 21. 12 input open the input source list and select a video input source. See selecting the video input source on page 19. 13, return, return to the previous channel. 14 favorite set up the favorite channel list or open the existing favorite channel list. See the favorite channel setup and favorite channel list options in changing channel settings on page 27. TV menus navigate on screen TV menus and adjust settings. USB control a photo slideshow. 16 info asterisk display TV status information, such as the channel number, channel name, if available, or signal source. 
See viewing channel information on page 20. 17 cubic centimeters turn closed captioning on or off. You can see. Thank you.